Hello everybody, I am Nutrix the Synth Guy and today I'm answering somebody's question online that basically the question was how do you use Hammerhead, which is a groove box with his own sounds, inside a DAW like Cubasis 3? How do you actually use it so you can record it and use the result, not just in real time, but you can then edit and tweak it? So there's first thing first, we start with a new sequence in Cubasis. We go add MIDI. It's a MIDI track. You click on the piano sound here to select the instrument. You go back, you go audio unit, and you look for your, the one you're looking for. In my case, I'm looking for hammerhead. Specifically, there was a question that was asked. Now, think of it, I mean, of course, you can put this in full screen and, and just use Hammerhead as the device, but you'll see something if I press play here, it doesn't work. Because now Hammerhead is a groove box inside a DAW. So like, like hardware would be, the hardware is slave to your master sequencer, in this case, the DAW. So then the internal sequencer of Hammerhead cannot play unless the DAW is playing. So if I press play at the top here, you know, well, it still doesn't play. Look, yeah, you're right. This this still doesn't play because now I did not press play on the internal sequencer of Hammerhead. I press play here. I press play at the top. Now it works. Now we don't hear anything. Let's actually go back and see if I can load something. I've got my sequence. Okay, but it works. I got my sound. I got my reaction. I press stop. Press stop here, and I press play. Now it plays the sequence of Cubasis. If I turn this down, you see now it, it plays a sequence, but there's nothing to play. And it is in sync, but there's no sequence being triggered inside Hammerhead because the play sync is off. So that's kind of one thing you need to understand. Now, let's say I like that beat and I go, I want to have this on, I don't know, four measures. I go, that's what I want. And say, well, I want to record it. Well, the first reaction most people would say, well, I want to go and I'm going to create a new track. I'm going to create an audio track, go routing and say the input and like the it doesn't work. I don't have the output of the instruments to record, which in my case is kind of something you should have. You should be able to go in and say, my input is not inter app. It's actually one of the plugins that is running here. So that's just the way it works. So what you can do though, is you can go into Hammerhead here, Hammerhead Audio, Output Bus, Add Tracks, and all of them are separate tracks. So that's interesting. Now, if we go back here. Now, what I'll do, and I don't know if it works, I'm gonna try to just go freeze. So if I freeze, I see, if I freeze this one, I freeze this one. These are all separate sounds of Hammerhead on separate tracks. So now if I, if we solo this one and I press play, all these tracks now are digital audio recordings or yeah, conversion into audio recordings of what was in the main track. These are separates because I decided to go into, uh, where was that? That was the first one here and Hammerhead here. Click on this one, Hammerhead. Now I don't have access to it anymore. That's kind of weird. But I had access here to click and then say, if, oh yeah, if I disconnect it, now I can see this. So you, if you unfreeze them, they will disappear. And then you go back to using your hammerhead the normal way, like this, with separate outs. So I have eight tracks now. But if I didn't do that, I could still do the hammerhead freeze. But then what I would have would be the stereo mix. So if I want the whole thing, done deal. Do not do extra tracks. If you want to do the extra tracks, now I've got all of the separate sounds. You can actually um, just convert. Now, what's going to be happening now is you can take this and you can copy it. You can say, well, this actually click once 
and you can just move it where you want. You can just go copy and paste to another track and it becomes a file, audio file that you can use anywhere you want to use it inside Cubase's normal way to use digital audio. So that's one way to do it. Uh, the other way would be if you don't, let's say I'm going to unfreeze this, it's going to disappear. Um, if I am going to go back to this thing here and say, delete, 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 delete. I'm going to go back to add a MIDI track again. <clears throat> again, I'm, go, I'm going back to audio unit and I'm going to hammerhead. I'm going to load. Now I'm going to still load my same presets, this one here, new tricks, but I'm, not, I'm going to turn off the play button. One other way to do is actually enter a new block here. Okay. I've got this block. Actually, it could be shorter if I want. I don't, doesn't really matter. Okay. I've got the shorter block here, double click on it. And then I can enter the note. Now, remember that each of these keys equals a note, which one? Well, they're not all active, but if I move them, let's see, I've got my kick. So I'm going to go into draw mode and enter my kick. Very stupid, simple kick. Okay. And snare is going to be here, 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 here. And then, and this is going to be here, oops, here and here. So let's just like try this. So now this is going to be playing the sequence of Cubasis and it's going to use Hammerhead as a synth engine or a sound engine. So you're playing the sample and the sound effects of Hammerhead without using his own internal sequencer. So it just works. Okay. Very stupid, very simple. So now you basically build your own sequence inside the same DAW that you trigger the other instruments that you want. Again, if you want to hear it, if you want to convert that same logic, you go back here, you freeze it. Because I did not create these multiple outputs, what I have as a freeze is just a stereo mix, okay? But if I do unfreeze this and go back to say eight tracks, I can still do the same logic of, you know, freezing just the kick, freezing just the snare, and, and so on and so forth. So that's the logic. So there's two ways to do it. And then these, this is, I would say, the most um, normal way to do it. And, and this is what we would expect for most software to be able to do, because it's kind of an easy way to just like, okay, multiple track, bounce, and it works. Uh, so the freeze can be seen as a bounce in this case. I still would love to have an option when you go routing and you... You can say, my, I want to route from the output of Hammerhead inside this. Now, I'm, on, I'm not an everyday user of Cubasis. I, I use Zenbeats most of the time. Um, but it might be a way to do it. So if you know how to actually route and say, I want to record from another track, would be another way to be interesting because you could actually record, you know, sections where you want them. So if it's possible, write them in the comments or link me to a video of how to do it. It's going to be interesting. That's it. I hope it helps. See you soon. Stay safe. Cheers.